morning. It's January 26th, 2022, and this is 5-Minute Daily Devotionals with Religionless Christianity. This morning, we're still in the Gospel of Luke, making our way through chapter 4, today in verse 43. And it says, But he said to them, It is necessary for me to proclaim the good news about the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because I was sent for this purpose. You know, this may sound crazy, but a preacher's job is to preach. That's sort of the whole point of preaching the good news. You are to preach it. And here Jesus says it's necessary for him to proclaim the good news. That's the only way people are going to hear it is if someone proclaims it. Dictionary.com says a preacher is a person whose occupation or function is to preach the gospel. So again, this may seem obvious, but I feel that this can get lost in the current world we live in. You know, I don't know when the term CEO pastor started, but I know I've heard it. And we live in a country of mega churches, multi-campus sites, digital churches, and it seems like the gospel starts to become pre-packaged. You know, why is it that every church you go to feels so similar? 30 minutes of music, probably sung a bit too loud for your liking, sung mostly by 20-somethings, a few announcements about what the church has going on, and then a 30 to 45-minute sermon and you're out the door as the church prepares for the second service. I mean, do you ever stop and think, like, I know I heard a sermon, but did I hear the gospel? You know, it's like they all went to the same How to Grow Your Church conference. And I think that what that's led to is the feeling that church growth equals church success in America. And so often our pastors and church leadership can get enamored with the possibilities. And possibilities to do good, certainly, but at some point, the pastor's role changes from preacher into CEO, where the main focus becomes maintaining and growing the church. But the world is not in need of more churches, more Christian small groups, more book clubs. Those are all great, and they serve their purpose for sure. But what the world needs is what it's always needed. We need to hear the gospel preached. We can't lose sight of that. You know, the gospel isn't just for the lost sinner in need of salvation. The gospel is for all of us. Whether we are sinners who have never heard it before, or we've been saved for 50 years, we still need the gospel. John Stott wrote in his book, The Gospel, All around us, we see Christians and churches relaxing their grasp on the gospel, fumbling it, and in danger of letting it drop from their hands altogether. So let that not be said of your church or your ministry, because it's still the only message by which men may be saved. And our psalm today comes from Psalms 130, verse 3 and 4. Lord, if you kept an account of iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that you may be revered. And our Proverbs today comes from Proverbs 26, verse 20. Without wood, fire goes out. Without gossip, conflict dies down. And I'll end praying for you, and our prayer comes from Psalms 145. May the Lord show you he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. That the Lord is good to all, and his mercy is over all that he has made. May you know the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. That the Lord preserves all who love him. God bless.